you tweeted, quote, suffering results for one part of the mind failing at regulating another part of the mind. Suffering happens at an early stage of mental development. I don't think that superhuman AI would suffer. The philosopher Thomas Metzinger is very concerned that the creation of superhuman intelligence would lead to superhuman suffering. Yeah. And so he's strongly against it. And personally, I don't think that this happens because suffering is not happening at the boundary between uh, ourself and the physical universe. It's not some stuff on our skin that makes us suffer. It happens at the boundary between self and world, right? And the world here is the world model. It's the stuff that is created by your mind. But that's the all... The representation of how the universe is and how it should be mm. and how you yourself relate to this. And at this boundary is where suffering happens. So suffering in some sense is self-inflicted, but not by your personal self. It's inflicted by the mind on the personal self that experiences itself as you. Mm -hmm. And you can turn off suffering when you are able to uh, get on this outer level. So when you manage to understand how the mind is producing pain and pleasure and fear and love and so on, mm -hmm. then uh, you can take charge of this and you get agency of whether you suffer. Technically, what uh, pain and pleasure is, they are learning signals, right? A part of your brain is sending a learning a signal to another part of the brain to improve its performance. And sometimes uh, this doesn't work because this trainer who sends the signal does not have a good model of how to improve the performance. So it's sending a signal, but the performance doesn't get better. And then it might crank up the pain. And um, uh, it gets worse and worse, and uh, the behavior of the system uh, may be even deteriorating as a result. But until this is resolved, this regulation issue, your pain is increasing. And this is, I think, typically what you describe as suffering. So in this sense, you could say that uh, pain is um, very natural and uh, helpful, but suffering is the result of a regulation problem in which you try to regulate something that cannot actually be regulated. And that could be resolved if you would be able to get at the level of your mind where the pain signal is being created and rerouted mm -hmm. and improve the regulation. And a lot of people get there, right? If you are a, a monk who is spending decades reflecting about how their own psyche works, you can get to the point where you, where you realize that suffering is really a choice mm -hmm. and you can choose how your mind is set up. And I don't think that AI would stay in the state where the personal self doesn't get agency or this model of what the system has about itself. It doesn't get agency how it's actually implemented. I wouldn't stay in that state for very long. So it goes to the stages real quick. Yes. Well, the seven stages, it's, it's going to go to enlightenment real quick. Yeah, of course, there might be a lot of stuff happening in between because if you have a system that works at a much higher frame rate than us, then even though it looks very short to us, maybe for the system there's a much longer subjective time mm -hmm. in, uh, which things are unpleasant. What if the thing that we recognize as super intelligent is actually living in, at stage five? that uh, the thing that's at stage six, enlightenment, is not very productive. So in order to be productive in society and impress us with this power, it has to be uh, a reasoning, self-authoring agent. The enlightenment makes you lazy as an agent in the world. Well, of course it makes you lazy because you no longer see the point. In, yeah. um, it, so it doesn't make you not lazy. It just, um, in some sense, adapts you to what you perceive as your true circumstances. So what if all AGIs, they, they're only productive as they progress through one, two, three, four, five, and the moment they get to six, they just kinda, it's a failure mode essentially, as far as humans are concerned, because they just start chilling. They're like, fuck it, I'm out. Uh, not necessarily. I suspect that the monks who are self-immolated for their political beliefs to make statements about sure. uh, the occupation of Tibet by China, um, they were uh, probably being able to regulate their physical pain in any way they wanted to. And their uh, suffering was a spiritual suffering that uh, was the result of their choice that they made of what they wanted to identify as. Mm -hmm. So stage five doesn't necessarily mean that you have no identity anymore, but you can choose your identity. You can make it instrumental to the world that you want to have. 